Something that's been on my mind for, well, every single day that I've lived in Japan. And that is body image and dieting culture in Japan. Women and men here are very, very tiny. Actually, most women in Japan have a BMI of around 18 or 19. For those of you who don't know what a BMI is, it's body mass index. And this is a ratio of your weight and your height. So a healthy BMI is between 18.5 and 25. Um, you can calculate it online. There's tons of tools out there. A lot of women and men too tend to have a very low bordering underweight BMI. In America, we have the opposite problem because we have delicious food, mac and cheese pizza. That's a whole nother issue that I'm not gonna even touch today. A BMI of 18 would be someone who's like five, Five, like a woman who's 5'5 five, five and like 110 pounds. They're not unhealthy, but they are quite on the thin side. Coming to Japan and seeing all these incredibly skinny, fashionable, cute women, it's a lot to take in. I go home, back to America, I'm like shocked at the different sizes of people that are there. Shocked. Going through an airport when I'm going home is like going to a people zoo and I'm looking around and there's all these different people and all these different shapes and I'm like, whoa, this is bizarre. I think I've seen two obese people in Japan in my entire stay here and it's seven years now. That's a long time. Something that uh, I remember distinctly was being on the beach and there was this girl and guy she was with, boyfriend, I don't know, but they walked past me and this, she was thin. I mean, not even by just American standards, like she was thin by Japanese standards and she was wearing this cute little two piece and she was grabbing at her nothing stomach and going, I was just like, and to see her walk past me uh, and complaining about that, I thought, wow, this is a problem. I play uh, a little game you might know that's called Candy Crush. Recently, they changed it so you can get extra lives if you watch more ads. So, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Japanese ads. There is this ad that keeps popping up. The ad says, lose 10 kilo in seven days. 10 kilograms, for my American viewers, is over 22 pounds. Lose 22 pounds in seven days. Now, I don't know about you, but the only way I can think to healthily lose 22 pounds in seven days is by cutting off an arm. And that's not exactly a good way to lose weight, and it's not exactly healthy either. I see it all the time. I used to watch Japanese television in the morning, and I actually stopped a few years ago because a program that I watched disturbed me so much. And it was a woman who was about 5'5". Five, five. She was maybe 130 pounds. This is a perfectly normal weight for someone her size. And the program was about how she lost weight. She lost like 20 pounds in like a month or a month and a half or something. The way she did it was by not eating breakfast and then she had a piece of fish for lunch and a piece of fish and a small bowl of rice for dinner. And she did that every day for a month and a half, and she lost the weight. Japan's idea of dieting is starvation. It's anorexia. But the worst part was not even the dieting, dieting. It was definitely the fact that all these other women who are watching and talking to this woman, they're like, oh, Urayamashi, wow, you look so good. Girl, what is with these standards? Why do we have these standards? It goes way beyond that. Pregnant women in Japan are told not to gain more than eight kilograms when they are pregnant. Eight kilograms is around 18 pounds. And if you gain more than that, the doctor will tell you to stop and put you on a diet while you're pregnant. In fact, I heard stories from overweight foreign women who 
married a Japanese man and were giving birth in Japan. And the doctor told them, don't gain any weight during your nine month pregnancy because you're already fat enough. That's what they said. Th this kind of way of thinking is incredibly detrimental to Japanese women, to foreign women who come here. I can't even count the number of times I talk to my female Japanese friends and they're so cute and petite and they're like, oh, I have to lose weight. And, or they take these supplements to manage their weight or they, if they gain weight in winter, uh, then they'll just eat a rice ball a day to lose weight until they're back to their normal weight. It's really scary and it's really unhealthy and um, I really wish that there was some kind of movement going on, especially in Japan, for these women who think that they have to lose 20 pounds because they're not 105 pounds like they should be. I really wish that we could like kill these expectations because they're terrifying and horrible and they're not helping anyone and they're detrimental to women's mental health. Um, I don't know. That was something I wanted to bring to light. It I really wish in general people talked more about body image stuff because I feel like we could all really benefit from having an open discussion about it's okay to be yourself and it's okay to look the way you do and you don't have to change anything about you to meet society's standards of what a woman is supposed to look like. <sighs> That's the topic for today. I'm gonna try to keep this short, but who knows how long this video is gonna go. But uh, thank you for tuning in and I hope that we can talk more soon. Bye.